you look at the Roman civilization, the Byzantine Empire, the Greek Empire, all of those civilizations used tokenized barter exchanges. That time is coming back again, but with an exception. There's a digital footprint and blockchain is that digital footprint. Hey folks, Flo here with Blockchain North. We're here at Crypto Ecosystem Night, the official opening party for Futurist 2024, organized by Virgo CX. Shout out to them. I'm here with our great friend and probably one of our greatest fans, Fawaz Malik. Why don't you tell us what you do and uh, yeah, in 30 seconds or less. Hi, my name is Fawaz Malik. First of all, I would like to say thanks to Blockchain North. You guys have been an amazing media team. They're one of the first in Canada to advertise blockchain because uh, I work, I studied blockchain development at George Brown College. So we cover the education part. But when it comes to the media adoption, I think uh, blockchain has been an amazing media team. So You're too kind. And we love George Brown and we of course know uh, George Petrovich and Mark Lejour yeah. and some of the people that are probably your your your, yeah. your gurus. Yeah, yeah my guru, <laughs> absolutely. So I work, I represent ICP as a student ambassador. We basically held boot camps all across USA and Canada. Apart from that, I work at a tech startup uh, called Bizbridge.io, Bizbridge. Uh, it's an AI-based startup. So we basically help sellers sell businesses and buyers buy businesses. I, I work as a lead cloud engineer. Okay, interesting. And what's the connection with blockchain then with BizBridge? Well, right now it's an AI-based startup, but uh, but down in the down the lane, we are def definitely thinking, considering about moving towards blockchain, where our platform could be a medium-sized market exchange for small medium-sized businesses for tokenized ownership of multiple businesses and not just one business. Interesting. So we're talking about tokenization of real-world assets or more like sort well, of equity in companies? Well, we'll leave that up to our founder, what he thinks about uh, what he wants to do with it. But the goal is that uh, people can have, instead of having... Uh, full ownership of the business, they can have partial ownership of the business. But one of the most fascinating things about uh, our finding about blockchain is the ICP. For, for me, ICP is very fascinating, blockchain. I think about it's like AWS Azure, but in a decentralized cloud way, that's ICP. For me, that's, that's, that's what fascinates me and the language that you can use to develop it. And we have been held, holding boot camps thanks to Bitcoin Bay, the collaboration with George Brown. We have been able to held boot camps for two to three days and I have been uh, personal, I have been judging hackathons uh, for the, any, any of the projects that involve ICP. So I'm interested in those hackathons, that's an area that we want to do more with. So what are some of the most exciting sort of developments happening at hackathons these days? Well, a lot of people are getting into medical side of the blockchain. They have been trying to push uh, blockchain into areas where medical could be needed or somewhere you can have dietary restrictions. I've seen some projects that I have judged personal. Uh, along with my team uh, and judging what, what the projects are about, like what the, what's the use cases, and they, they have been very promising use cases, and we incubated some of the, uh, ICB incubated some of the projects too. There was also one project we incubated was about decentralized gold and silver. So that was very intriguing to us. I'm intrigued by the uh, medical side. Could you talk about some of the use cases that uh, you think are like maybe the most promising right now? Well, importantly, uh, the factor is that when it comes to medical, Privacy is very important, and I think when it comes to blockchain... Like medical records, you mean? Yeah, medical records, patient records, and I think with uh, blockchain being integrated to it, you can have a lot of more pri you can have a lot of more privacy for your patient data. Mm. They cannot be broken down. Cause and also I control for the patients, I guess, exactly. right? Because one of the things I find the most frustrating uh, as someone who's traveled quite a bit, both in Canada but also internationally, is that if you have any kind of a health uh, issue or you need any kind of health care, like I kind of feel like you have to create a new file with whoever, you yeah, know, is exactly. your caregiver every single time in a world where, you know, everyone has, you know, IT infrastructure and, 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 and all of it is global. So yeah. well, how will that be able to change thanks to blockchain? Well, when it comes to blockchain, what's fascinating is about everything is on your phone, your wallet. That's where self-sovereign identity comes into place. And SSID is a huge domain in the blockchain sector. You'll find a lot of companies probably tomorrow targeting SSID uh, startups and uh, use cases. And apart from that, one of the most fascinating things I find in blockchain and crypto is that I don't know why governments are so resisting about crypto and blockchain because if you look at the Roman civilization, the Byzantine Empire, the Greek Empire, all of those civilizations used tokenized barter exchanges where you could exchange food in terms of tokens. Now you are bring, you're, that time is coming back again, but with an exception. There's a digital footprint, and blockchain is that digital footprint. 
So you're a developer yourself, you're an yes. entrepreneur, you're you know very, very active in the community, yeah. uh, you speak very well about crypto, yeah. you explain yeah. it well, I guess, because yeah. you've you know spent a lot of time in the educational space. Um, what would be your message to folks who are maybe starting uh, uh, or considering uh, an education in blockchain right now uh, in terms of you know what they should really focus on to have a successful career in, in blockchain? Well, and when it comes to blockchain, I think it's usually we start with the basics because when I was in the college, we started with the basics. We started with Ethereum because Ethereum has a wide use case. But when uh, what, uh, what we do in ICP is fascinating because ICP allows us to integrate Ethereum with their uh, contracts as well. You can run Ethereum on your backend network. At the same time, run a canister smart contract for ICP and deploy your application on the blockchain. And you can do that for the same as a Bitcoin as well. So uh, you, I think when it comes to the basics, yeah, you start with Ethereum and you go towards the other, and, and all of those blockchains that suit you well. I think that would be it. And, and what kind of careers can people expect to have in the coming years in, in the crypto space, you think? Well, starting with uh, blockchain developers, blockchain engineers, architects is very important, uh, very fascinating. You can basically design, be a consultant, design solutions for companies, and they basically pay you uh, huge amounts of money for that. <laughs> Who doesn't want to hear that? Of course, everybody loves good money. <laughs> Sounds great. Thank you very much for us. Thank Pleasure you. to speak with you. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure. Thank you.